Well, hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am today joined by my one of my besties, my influences, because when it comes to Eurovision and YouTube, she is the one, and we've been doing it for the last four Eurovision seasons. Yes. I am joined by the what the one and only Noosh One Hundred One. Now, if you didn't know that, like I mentioned, we have been collaborating for the last four Eurovision seasons and it couldn't get any better. Now, this season, we have got a lot going on, especially mm -hmm. with the semifinals. We have just concluded our predictions with regards to what we feel about the first semifinal. And that video is in Nusha's channel. So please make sure that you have watched that video before coming here because if you would like to do things chronologically then that has to be the first video and now on my channel we're going to talk about the second semi-final but for the time being guys please make sure that you have subscribed to Nusha's channel and obviously mine for more exciting Eurovision content we are going to Sweden together and Denmark and before that, we're going to be in Copenhagen at the Malmö Hagen pre-party where I'll be performing. Um, Nush will be documenting her journey. We will, be, will be together at some point. It's going to yeah. be the best Eurovision content that you have ever seen from us so far. So please make sure that you have subscribed to our channels. And put that ring bell on. Thanks. Second semi-final. First half, we have got Austria. An absolute non-qualifier. It's yeah. I don't think I don't think this is good at all. I actually. think awful. it's like it could have just been not be there. No, well we're no, just but... <laughs> don't come at us. Well, we look. We're Middle East, and these are the kind of granddad jokes we make. Right? Exactly. So we are like very much like Nush and I. We yeah. have the same sense of humor because we're almost yeah. like neighbors. So that's why, like, sometimes we make it confusing. But that's the twist of your vision yeah yeah um the thing yeah. about austria this year is that it is not just a qualifier but at the same time a big player oh huge i mean i think when we heard we will rave as the title with colleen i didn't know much about colleen at the time then the song came out and i was like there's no way we can get another dance banger right now because it was so filled with party songs at that point and then it's this has become one of my favorites in the mm. whole contest in the whole contest i've been playing this song i think the most out of every single one i've got a few that i just a lot actually that i listen to on repeat but this okay. is the one that i i listen to at least twice a day like it's it's just got everything that i want it's got that nostalgia sound about it but it still sounds fresh it doesn't sound dated and now i know a bit more about colleen her whole experience with eurovision being a mm. part of the contest working in eurovision for many years i think that is going to be in her favor mm. and she is really talented and she's going to bring it with and a lot of the... those handsome men on stage oh, as well mm, mm. next up we have got malta which is a beautiful country And like this song, as much as I love it, I think personally combined, like just like taking into account what's happening in the rest of the heat is that could be a shocking non-qualifier. Yeah. For me, this isn't really a shocker non-qualifier. Really? <laughs> it's a shocker for me. I love this song so much. I don't think it's enough. I think it's good, but it's falling like I don't get the urge to play this at all mm. I, I just don't personally it but I will say it does do what it Poland's Blanca did last year where I don't yeah. really want to play it as much yeah. and then that performance changed it so I think that could happen where we get a bit of a 180 with the performance of this and it could shock everyone but right now with the way that we have with these songs I just don't see this going through I'm afraid yeah absolutely and to be honest yeah. very sadly we will have to move on by saying no to malta as much as we would like yes. to say yes but although uh, and at the same time these like predictions are like combined with our taste and also like 
combined with what we know about Eurovision, but these and the realistic change. So yeah. like see the rehearsals and we will be quite hands on at the rehearsals. We will be on the site. So we will come up with amended, refreshed, new um, predictions in the coming weeks. So mm -hmm. let's keep the conversations going. This is not the first and last video that we're doing. There's going to next up. We've got Switzerland, which is Big vocals, um, vocal acrobatics, amazing music video, and to be honest, a definite, definitive qualifier, and if so, top 10. Yeah, I agree. I think this is a potential winner, even. Okay, this is one of those that we really cannot say how it's going to do, but we know it's going to qualify, because if he does, I mean, sorry, if they perform this song anyway. the way that we think it's going to go down... I, I don't see why not. Like, it has everything in this song and it's got the energy. It's still got a party element to it. So, mm. but it's different enough to stand out. And after Malta, this is going to stick out like a sore thumb, I think. Yeah. Um, I just hope that Switzerland puts together a staging that gives this song the potential it needs, but we're going to qualify. Absolutely. So. Okay, next up we have got Greece. Et canis a rapimo, epizi, we are here. Um, here's the thing M amazing music video, very like Balkan vibes, like because I'm very much married into the um, Greek ghetto in London, so I know very much the Greek culture. Um, I'm kind of like part Greek in my background. I think this is a qualifier, but what I am very much worrying about is that since it's a televote, what if the general audiences, can I speak audiences? Audiences. Don't the great get coming it. out of you either. What if the general audiences don't get it? That's why I'm scared about Greece. I say yes, qualifier. But if there's going to be a drama this year, like big drama, big, big, big drama, I hope it doesn't come from Greece because yeah, we can't I, have that once. We need, we need this at the final. If it's that happens, we will riot. Yeah, we will. There'll be all the Greeks, and if she get on the stage with their like souvlaki sticks, and stuff. Greece has to qualify. Yeah, I think that let's uh, just where we think this is going to qualify. I. I think this does sound very Greek with the Zorna in it. I, Zorna is a Greek instrument. And I know that, yeah, Apostolis was telling us that this is viral in Greece right now. And yeah. for good reason. But you're right. What if the rest of the world don't really get this so much? Yeah, because it's almost like Rosalia meets um, like Greek pop. Yes. Right. Yeah, it's got a reggaeton in here, but that could work in its favor too because I it is a so, familiar. It is an incredible song. It is just that it's something that has not really devised in on Eurovision. You know, like it's a very fresh take, and I hope the audiences are ready to give this one twelve points because otherwise... I think this is. I, I do think though it stands out from a lot of the songs here. So okay, let's just let's just say that. This is a yes. <laughs> so. Next up, we've got Czechia. And... As much as I love the Avril Lavigne, well, as Laura Slavandic, kudos, uh, mentioned back in the days, um, like as, as as much as I love this kind of like genre being represented um, with the revamp and all that, I'm still not very impressed. It just to me sounds a bit too chaotic. Um, Czechia, I love you. Nothing personal, but like I said, it's a bloodbath, and so we have to make sure that there are like ten countries moving forward. And I will say no. Yeah, I actually really like this revamp a lot. I actually much prefer it to the original. The original was was more of a mess, and the staging wasn't that great. But I also don't think this is enough to qualify this year because it's just not got the ethnicity in it that the other countries do and i keep saying this and i know that's really boring but it's true we have a very culturally feel, filled eurovision this year mm. and i think that unfortunately we just have 
we just have more going on that is going to get people's attention. And I, I, I think this for me is the stronger semi and I can't see myself putting this in the top 10 mm. out of all of these. Next up, we've got Albania. Now, this is a big yes for me because when we first met Bessa, she was this femme fatale, beautiful woman with singing her heart out, chest out. And then with the revamp, we saw this sort of like titan, titan sort of like queen with almost like a Sheldon Riley tribute with the mask, you know, like yeah. Australia 2022. And that kind of like, like... It, 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 it got to me that she has got a lot to serve and a lot to say and a lot to sing. Like, I think she's going to be um, an incredibly like vital part of the season. She is going to be a qualifier, Albania. Yeah, I, I see this qualifying too. I wasn't too sure when I heard, heard the first version. And that was the first, like one of the first songs that we had. Oh, I think it was After France, right? So... Yeah, it needed work, but I think the work has been done, and I think she is going to serve with this one. I'm, I really like the song. I do like this drum and bass bit at the end as well. We do have a bit of drum and bass this year, but I like how the, that was very unexpected, and that will keep people on their toes. And I think she's going to look fantastic. So, and sing really well. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say yes. Okay, so the next one is Denmark. I really like this. Uh, I think that Saba has a really good voice and the actual song, the song is like, it's a really good song, but I feel like when it comes to like pop songs this year, we probably have stronger songs, but it, I think this also could be a dark horse. I'm very torn yeah. in yeah, how definitely. I think this is actually going to go down because I know a lot of people really like this. I really like this too. So it all depends on what the other countries do with their performances. And if someone doesn't do as well as we think, which is quite likely in the, in history of Eurovision that's happened, this could actually qualify, but I'm in the middle. So... I, I think I'm going to say, because we've only got 10 spots here, right now I'm saying no. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Although, to be honest, I think this is the dark horse of the season. Yeah. That we have to do. I reckon but, this is going to, I have a feeling this is going to change though later down. I, I really do. Uh, I think so. Like, just to remind all of our viewers at the moment that this will change. Like, we're still yeah. very much early in the game. It's March. Yeah. We will see the rehearsals, we will see the live takes, pre-parties, and we will come up with a refreshed in-person yeah. um, yeah. take to give you our odds again. But for the time being, Denmark, unfortunately, no. Next yeah. up, we have got a country that I think you should intro for. Yeah, Barev, my highest stances. <laughs> the next one is Armenia. I wasn't expecting a cultural banger coming from the, U the UK, not the UK, that's my other country, uh, mm -hmm. coming from Armenia this year because we've been in this cycle of sending very polished pop songs. Mm -hmm. And I'm very glad that we've had a bit of a 180 this year and we've gone for a very traditional number. I, I would say one of the most traditional, I think is, this is the most traditional number we have this year. And I mean, maybe we'll talk about another one that's gonna be in this semi that is also very traditional, but this has happiness written all over it. Over it. And like from the minute it begins, it's like, la 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 la. I'm here to party, I'm here to have food with my family, wine, let's drink, let's have a kef. Like, that is what this song is about. Mm -hmm. And this is not a boring song. And it's in the middle. So, and coming off to Denmark, actually, and Albania, very different vibes. So, I think this will stand out. And I would be shocked. I know I'm biased, but I'd be shocked if this doesn't qualify. Armenia is also finishing the first half. Meaning yes. that with this banging tonality... It will definitely be remembered when people are voting and all that. Um, first things first, um, Armenia 
this is not the best song ever for me. Like, it's not like musically is like, wow, what an orchestration. Yeah. What an orchestration. But at the same time, the music video, her happiness, uh, the guy being a multi-instrumentalist. And like I, um, I mentioned this in um, Eurovision Fund's channel, they should create a little Armenian village on the stage. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Because she is that village girl from Armenia singing for her life and then just like so beautiful, ethnic, cute and gorgeous. And to be honest, on Eurovision, sometimes this is what we want. We, some, we, yeah. we don't always want EDM tunes and in, impeccable staging. Like we just want local music. And I think in that sense, Armenia is going to secure its place for the finals, meaning qualifier. Yeah, and, and no one like we we haven't had a sound we haven't had a sound like this from Armenia for such a long time. Yeah. So people are gonna be wanting it. Absolutely, sure. absolutely. Now moving forward in the second half, opening the second half will be Israel. Shalom. Now Israel, I think, is an incredible sort of like ballad like a twist between a ballad and a bop it's not really a bop but like it is it it grow it's a grower it grows towards the end i think eden's eden not eden you guys have actually corrected me for like a thousand times um eden's um voice is incredible i have watched her live on youtube um qualifier qualifier yeah i mean Let's not beat around the bush. I know I haven't reacted to the song, but I have listened to it. And I have to be realistic here. This is a very strong song. So it would be absolutely ridiculous for me to say this is not going to qualify. The song's bad. It isn't a bad song at all. Yeah. You know, Israel is known for putting in a lot of work into their songs. Mm -hmm. And you can see that with the actual production of this. The vocal talent, it is incredible too. I actually heard... Um, someone posted uh, a mashup between Eden, Eden, yeah, what did yeah. you say? Eden and Miley Cyrus, uh, like their voices combined with the AI. I'll send it to you. Oh my god! It was really, really good. I but the great. melody is is lovely. It's it's a really pleasant song. So for a, a lot of people, especially the Israeli diaspora, it's it's big. So it would be stupid for anyone to say that this isn't going to qualify because it is. So we both say yes to Israel, although we may not be that optimistic for the next country, which is Estonia. I love this song. Again, there isn't a lot of songs in this contest that maybe there's two that I'm not really, really vibing with. This I vibe with. But that, first of all, that the, the name of the song is so hard to pronounce, and I feel like that might not help people when finding the song. But that I don't yeah. think is anything to do with its placement. I just think, especially coming after Armenia, that is so culturally rich and is a party song. This is also in that sector. Like it is very Estonian traditional. Uh, but is I don't think it's perfected enough for this year's contest in terms of just like really standing out. Although I feel like if Armenia doesn't get the crowd's attention in terms of getting, you know, mm. like that part in the song where they they get the ah, la 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 la, and then the, the then they want yeah. the crowd to sing. Yeah. This also is one of those songs that grabs the crowd to sing along. Absolutely. You know? yeah. So if they don't do it so well. They, then this could do it but as, as now I don't see this I know I know and like I'm almost like getting to the end of the list but we have got a beautiful country with a beautiful redemption Georgia <laughs> yeah, a big yes we have got the rain we have got a queen we have got the vocals we have got a bop and it is going to be one of the signature songs of the season this song is screaming live like live performance like you know those songs that 
makes you think of its live version in your mind. And yeah. I think I was, for example, listening to Karia last year or like um, Unicorn Israel um, or like from last year, uh, like Laureen and all that. Like whenever I listened to their, their songs, stream them, I was instantly thinking of the live take. This is one of them. Georgia, very good job. I think you belong to the finals qualifier. Yeah, you said everything I was going to say anyway. I love this song so much. I think that she delivers it though more than if any other person was to sing it. I don't think I'd be feeling as strongly about it because just that performance in that music video alone was so in sync the choreo was on point she's giving a bit of wild dances vibes as well yeah, like, Rosanna. Like, yes you know? yeah so like i feel like it's got a throwback feel to it too which then those people in that not the actual melody obviously i, I think this is very fresh but um it would be really hard for this to not be in the final i think because also after coming after estonia it's different it's very different Gonna so, be, it's gonna be like okay let's vote for georgia yeah 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 and and speaking of votes from europe <laughs> you're a papa let's talk about <laughs> netherlands no sh take it away <laughs> I can't stop talking about this song. I'm obsessed with this too much. In fact, I feel like I'm just overdoing it in some aspects. So when it comes to Eurovision, I'm just like not going to like it. But God, no, that's blasphemy. That's not going to happen. This is one of the most, no, this is the most played song on the Eurovision channel right now. Yeah. It's doing very well globally, it seems. Mm -hmm. So you can't really, when it's all great if we all talk about our favorites here because we're eurovision fans but when it comes to actual normal viewers of eurovision on the night i think this is going to be one that will stand out for the most and to me i i think it is it's a hundred percent a winning potential because Absolutely. of just the way that this song just breaks up and also has this dutch yeah. identity to it and it has european yeah that a lot yeah. of people understand and it's got a good beat to it and then you've got Gabba that section where where you it really picks up and then you've got this outro that is just playing with the audience's emotions and it comes all the way down so yeah. there's so much potential with this song visually and audibly that yeah Honestly, I, I don't know why people are hating it so much, but give it a chance, I'm going to say that, because you're probably going to see it in the top five or potential oh, winning. Oh, absolutely. I mean, to be honest, I don't hate it. I love it. It's on my top five. Yeah. I don't see it as a winning one because personally, I would like a good vocalist to win. I'm always up for like good singers to win Eurovision. And to be honest, like I think this one, as, as, as much as I love it, is not... Um, a vocalist song. There's a lot yeah, of auto tune going on. It's 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 a bit of like a tribute to everything. But Netherlands, to be honest, definite defend qualifier to the finals and top ten material. Now, speaking of qualifiers, we have got the next one, which is Norway. <laughs> yeah! Now. I have to take this moment to explain all of you that I actually don't hate this song. You have all misunderstood me. I actually didn't really get her vocals because I thought she was... Oh yeah, you got completely killed on that. I forgot about that. That song apparently requires a very Norwegian, like, like traditional way of singing, which to me sounded like crackling. Now, to be honest, I still stand my ground when i say it sounds like she's struggling if you guys say that it is the tradition my hat my my hat is down like i respect all of your thoughts i don't know that tradition i don't, I don't know that culture however despite that it's a strong song i think it's an incredible song and the staging is promising and i think it's like one of a kind and in that sense it's going to qualify yeah this one was interesting as well i mean i've always loved this song Mm. I like the audio even when I heard it in Melody Grand Prix. So I knew this was one of the songs that was going to win it 
and it did win it and then it's now gone to Eurovision and I think it's a very good representation of Norway I think the staging was incredible vocals I think are very good but again I think this is a taste thing it just wasn't for you and that's all right mm. I really like it because I, I feel like I could just see like that just how like together that band are that they just work really really well on stage this is for me is it's in my tops so it would be very stupid for me not to say it's going to qualify because I think it will and it's Norway well next up we have got Latvia which is for me although very good vocals and like it's one of the very like best latvian entries for the last few years but then again combined with this bloodbath in his second semi-final probably maybe a no and is a no for me yeah i i'll be honest i never click with the first version that we saw yeah uh, I just think there was a better options, but I do also think even if you picked anything else in that selection, it, it would have been very tough to get through. I think maybe some people are going to really like this because I, I was told off a lot when I said my opinion that this wasn't going to qualify and who knows, but come on, is this song really going to stand out after Norway? I don't no, think so. Like and again, the and end. again. Is the end so unfortunately? Um, second, second semi final staring at the finals. Bit, people needed need a lot for this to be like, okay, let's wake up after or after our little break. They need it. Well, this will be their toilet break. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but <laughs> oh, next up, we have got a beautiful country, San Marino. Um, presented, not presented, represented. <laughs> It is presented. Language uh, represented by Megara. Now, Megara, we know it's from Spain, from Bandra Festival. Actually, their Bandra Festival song was amazing back in the it day. So good. This one, 11 11. Although I believe in the magic of 11 11, this may not be their fortune. So, non core. Yeah. I know, I agree. And that's really sad because I said in the video, I think this is going to qualify. But then I realized what was in against it and i didn't see the position and come on this it's just not i love them so much and i don't want to even say it but you have to be realistic and it's just not enough right now and they would have to do a lot with the staging although the song does change up a lot so this could be this could be the shock this could be another shock this and mm -hmm. denmark i'm saying we don't know yeah, really. absolutely yeah. i honestly think this could shock us so I'm not saying this is this is the bad song. I I think you know there's worse songs in this, um, but I don't know if it is that that level. Yeah. Right now it's not. Right yeah. now it just isn't. So yeah, I have to say no for now. To to finish the whole semifinals too, we have got. Better. I was listening to I was listening to this song today, and to be honest, not only a qualifier for me, but this one is a big one. So you think this is going to qualify? This Obviously. is going to qualify. Belgium is qualified. If it doesn't, I will... Um, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. You don't want to even speak what's going to happen. I will take but, a minute yeah. to look for the next big one. The hon Honestly, this again for me is one of the tops this year. Mm. Um, I don't think I mentioned... No, I mentioned it in my top 15, but I have so many favorites this year. I've got a lot of my party songs in that that doesn't mean that i don't see i see some winning potential in this as well i i think that you've got a, a david bowie feel to this which Absolutely. is making it stand out like it's got that artistry in it that david bowie had anyway and the ending of the song is, is where my heart lies with this song because the beginning i was a little bit lost i'll be honest but that's just a taste thing with me but the end really is powerful and magical. And I, I remember it. I still want to play it. It's not like a song that's getting bored. And I think it's going to be a really good way to end this this whole semi. And I think it will stay in people's minds. So I think this is a definite qualifier. With that being said, in the first half, all together and second half, we said yes to Austria, no to Malta, yes to Switzerland, yes to Greece. 
Um, yes, no slash maybe to Czechia, um, yes to Albania, no to Denmark, yes to Armenia, yes to Israel, no to Estonia, yes to Georgia, yes to Netherlands, yes to Norway, sorry no Latvia, sorry no San Marino, and yes to Belgium. Now, all y'all, please let us know all of your thoughts thoughts in the comment section below uh do you degree do you agree with us do you disagree with we us? need a degree <laughs> we have a degree and i would like to take this moment to thank you my lovely beautiful friend noosh for joining me on my channel for the fourth time uh we're gonna come back in person um in a month because we will be broadcasting slash releasing videos from malmo and before that in denmark at the official danish free party um Nush, thank you so much oh, thank you so much for having me what a fun time like I, me me and him were literally like oh we just need 20 minutes per video but we just no. love to talk to each other and this always ends up happening so okay. <laughs> it's always a lot of fun just like that with us and that's the joy of it and i just cannot wait to do eurovision with you in person because this oh, one right. i think is going to be the best one so far it's going to be one to remember for sure <laughs> for sure all right y'all we love you and see you later on mm. bye